Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a lot more that has come from the commotion in hip hop music thanks to Kendrick Lamar versus Drake Beef. And Kendrick Lamar has been on demon time as before anyone could say Jack Robinson. Just like the DJ Khaled meme, he dropped another one on Drake. All while fans were lamenting on how scathing Meet the Grahams was for Drake. And Kendrick Lamar has pretty much started a trend with this one and we'll get to more in a moment including one that shows Drake taking action in response to Not Like Us. And today we also have what looks to be Metro Boomin's response to Drake's diss, that he should shut up and make some drums. And he did just that on his new Drake diss BBL Dreezy that dropped with a twist. More on this momentarily. And since the fans have been asking about updates on Eminem's upcoming album, we got one that's reportedly come from an Eminem associate that's got users on Reddit losing their minds right now. As some believe this is all part of the promotion for Eminem's upcoming album, while some argue that it may be a leak while others have called it a fake and it teases what's to come in shady summer 2024 and we'll get to this later and as usual i'll be looking forward to your thoughts in the comment section and starting with the heated beef between kendrick and drake rick ross shared some perspective on what he believes kendrick's meet the grahams sounds like see if you if you really into this music shit what i'm listening to right now what Kendrick just released is if you was a real outcast fan, nigga, if you was a real outcast fan and you ever wanted to know what 3000 would be like if he ever was in a battle, nigga, this is the closest you will ever get to Andre 3000, nigga, ever having to do a nigga dirty. It's Kendrick Lamar. And just so you know, Rick Ross has been going off on Drake even when it comes to Ghost Riders. He even shared this post hours ago. One last thing, that boy ain't right sicker mode. Let's just say the real rider got a little bit of drama with his friends now, shrugs emoji. And just so you know, Rick Ross got writing credits on Sicko Mode, but it looks like it took an entire two to three football teams worth of writers for Sicko Mode. So we can't be sure who Rick Ross is talking about. And before we get to Kendrick's latest bomb, not like us, Metro Boomin has been going off on Drake non-stop since Drake dissed him on Family Matters and he pulled up receipts that show Drake's team trying to block like that from radio. He posted, I'm lame, but the first week after like that, you try to block it at radio. I've been sitting on this email for a month now, but was just sparing you. Oh, you ain't like that record? And the email includes the following. Per our conversation last, we are not granting radio rights for like that. Epic does not have the right to release this song at radio. But Metro wasn't done. He shared this photo of Drake with nail polish and added, I know a dude pushing 40 and painting his nails, not trying to call me lame laughing emojis identity crisis. This man wasn't done. He shared another old video of Drake calling Toronto slang ignorant at a fancy dinner. He shared it with the caption colonizer. This candlelight is really dark, really romantic. Got to know them much better, so it was fun. Do you have like your words up there that like kind of funky and weird? The guys at our school, instead of addressing people like the group, they saying like, what are you guys doing? I say man's like you. Really yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yo, so man's like you were going to that and then just things like the group. Crew. It's not. It's really ignorant. Oh, rude. That's rude. No. That's no. a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's fat. That's yeah. dope. Yeah. I hear that. So these are old school, like. Yeah, they're old school. I don't want chocolate. Yikes. Yikes. He had more for Drake. I still can't believe these pictures are even real. It all makes sense now, colonizer. And if you're wondering why he's calling Drake a colonizer, we are getting to that in a moment as he had more. I know a dude with lipo scars not trying to call me lame laughing emojis. Come on, man. You think this shit is cool? Nah, man. We're failing as a people. I'm talking about dark. The surgery will help me a lot in terms of giving me the motivation to get out there. Come on, man. And 
and Metro released BBL Drizzy and gave fans the option to drop verses with a chance to win a free beat from him. And speaking on the beef right now, Manny the Butcher was asked about his thoughts on fight hype and he left some hip hop fans with a head scratcher. Check out some snippets. What do you think about Cole in this whole thing? You know, That's Cole. My dog. Yeah, for, you, for real, there you, you go. Can see, honestly, you can see how gossipy and everything that this battle turns into. Do you blame him for not wanting to be a part of this at this moment? Can you, can you blame him? I don't, you know what I mean? You think he did the right thing? I probably would have went about it in a different way, but you know, it's, it's like a gossip battle. You know what I mean? It's not like a rap battle. It's like a business, telling each other business type of thing. So I wouldn't want to be a part of that. You know what I mean? A little messy. It's a little messy yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. As users have hit back with, oh, please. All rap battles are about exposing the other person. Ether, super ugly, hit him up, etc. Rappers just don't like seeing other rappers get the spotlight. And perhaps Kendrick saw users on social media talking about how they couldn't work to meet the Grahams and he decided to drop a banger with Not Like Us. But don't be fooled by the fire beats. It was scathing as Kendrick went crazy on the PDF files allegations that started from the cover art that shows Drake's mansion housing registered sex offenders and Kendrick straight up flipped certified lover boy to this. Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Wah, 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 wah. Damn. And Drake is certainly in hot water right now, as even casuals are gonna be hearing this in nightclubs, which is typically Drake's lane. And this one got the timeline in tears. Why are you trolling like a bee? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord, and it is probably a minor. Trying to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor. <laughs> Damn. And these next bars got Drake the colonizer moniker as Kendrick flipped the slaves bar from Family Matters and used it against Drake who he believes is moving like a colonizer when it comes to his collaborations with ATL rappers. Check it out. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you. This is the real dude challenge. You called future when you didn't see the club. Lil Baby helped you get your lingo up. 21 gave you full street cred. Thug made you feel like you were slime in your head. Quavo said you can be from Northside. 2 Chainz say you good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. No, you're not a colleague. You were freaking colonizer. The family matter and the truth of the matter. It was God's plan to show y'all the liar. And boy, even OVO angels are beginning to see the light. Drake is in trouble based on the overall reception on social media as even academics is glitching right now. He shared a couple of takes like Not Like Us might be a legit hit song ish too hard. And he kept going. Drake's Family Matters is too freaking hard as well. But Kendrick stepped all over that ish so much in that song just went over everybody's heads because Kendrick drowned that ish out with incessant dropping. Well, remember, Kendrick was getting teased for nearly three weeks when Kendrick lost his boogeyman status because Drake was dropping and he dropped nothing in response. And now Kendrick can't stop dropping ish like he's got butterfingers. And remember, Drake's team asked for this. And academics kept going. If you respond on record saying you aren't a sexual predator, you look even crazier. And if you ignore it, it becomes the elephant in the room, kind of changes the dynamic of just rapping. At that point, seeing that's not some ish you get accused of and just keep rapping. This is why I said Drake is in trouble, as while Kendrick is accused of beating his wife, allegations that he's yet to address getting called a PDF file drowns out the other one because there's a video from years back of Drake on stage with a 17 year old and people have been running with that video as proof. Drake's in a tough position right now. He needs to pull up receipts on Kendrick and fast before it is too late. And Kendrick has already got Drake taking action due to lyrics on Not Like Us when Kendrick rapped. I'm finna pass on this body. I'm John Stockton. And John Stockton is arguably the greatest passer in NBA history off his assist record. And he played with Karl Malone. Drake had a picture with Karl Malone on IG. And for those who don't know, Karl Malone is known for getting a 13-year-old pregnant. 
Drake has reportedly since deleted the picture with Karl Malone on his IG, and King Crooked has been enjoying what looks to be a victory lap for Kendrick Lamar. He shared this, not like us will be played in sports arenas to gangland to everywhere in between, and it has already sparked viral Crip Walk videos all over social media, and we have much more on this coming in the next video, so be sure to subscribe for more. And moving on, what some believe to be linked to promo for Eminem's upcoming album just hit social media and it reportedly came from Eminem's associate Lone Star Music who has produced a couple of songs for Eminem. This from his IG stories that included an investigation board to find out who is responsible for the death of Slim Shady and users were quick to spot a list of suspects who are presumed to be features on the album and a user on Reddit enhanced the suspects list that shows 50 Cent, Dr. Dre, The Weeknd, J. Cole, LL Cool J, among other expected features. However, this has sparked split reactions, as on one end, some believe this is a fake and fan made. Check it out. Those pics seem fan made, which got this response. It is probably just concept art, as they were throwing around ideas for the official album art. Then there are those who believe this is part of the publicity stunt to promote the album. This is part of the promo, music to be murdered by Side B kicked off with lesser known producers sharing stuff on their own socials. And this is true, producer Dem Joint, literally one day before music to be murdered by Side B dropped, shared the official album cover on his IG. And if this is real, there's a chance that it could also be a slip up from Lone Star Music. If that's the case, he's probably got in trouble with Eminem, but personally I hope this is the case. I'm pretty sure this is somewhat intentional because there's no way he's letting anything leak without approval. I'm thinking like phone confiscation and pat downs in and out of any areas with real information and we've reached out to Lone Star Music and we'll keep you guys updated if he clears this up. And all in all, this is just the beginning, expect much more to come before the song since Eminem's promoting the album this time around. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more and see you on the next one.